very nice. It's Caney up red. It's on sale today. You want to take a look at the It's okay, we'll explain anything to you there. What? You're under arrest? Title 18 U.S. what's going on here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to my lawyer. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's a phone call. That's okay. That's okay. What kind of incident in a dealership could cause the kind of activity you just witnessed in this reenactment? Hello, I'm Charles Intriago, and I can tell you because as publisher of Money Laundering Alert, I've spent years warning dealers about the possibility of this very thing happening right on their own premises. Federal agencies across the board have committed to a more rigorous effort to reduce crime, especially drug dealing. A major weapon in this fight has been the strict enforcement of two separate laws the money laundering statutes, and the IRS cash reporting rule. Because these laws are so important to the anti-crime effort, the government is adamant that dealership employees abide by them, first by reporting all cash sales over $10,000, and second by refusing to participate in any money laundering schemes. The purpose of this training program is to teach you how to comply with these laws. First, we will explain money laundering what it is and your responsibility to stop any attempt to launder money in your dealership. Next, we'll get into the specifics of cash reporting, including the government's definition of cash, reportable transactions, reporting requirements, and how to handle customers who try to get around the rule. Because transaction procedures vary from dealership to dealership, not every vignette will apply to your role in the store. But the law is everyone's responsibility and you will benefit from knowing about it. Your actions could save you and your dealership from an embarrassing and expensive situation. Let's begin first with money laundering. 